Are you moving to Ashburn, Virginia, but you're not quite sure where to live? Well, guess what? You're in the right spot because in this week's video, I'm gonna share with you the top five neighborhoods that you must know about for living right here in Ashburn. And make sure you watch this video all the way to the end because the number five spot on this list reveals what I believe is the most remarkable neighborhood in all of Ashburn. So sit back, relax, because we're getting started right now. Everybody, it's David, your favorite realtor, and welcome back to another video. The top five neighborhoods for living in Ashburn, Virginia. I'm super excited about this week's video. And before we get started, just so you know, all five of these neighborhoods are gonna have a different feel, different vibe, different features and benefits. So since all of these neighborhoods are completely different, one of them is definitely gonna match exactly what you're looking for. Also, nothing is perfect in life. Everything has cons. So I'm gonna share with you the biggest con with each one of these neighborhoods as well. So let's get it started right now with the first neighborhood on this list, and that's gonna be Ashburn Village. So Ashburn Village is one of the largest communities, not just in Ashburn, but Northern Virginia as a whole. And it's actually Ashburn's oldest master plan community, which opened back in 1988. So Ashburn Village features over 5,500 homes, including condos, townhomes and single families now great part about living in ashburn village it's gonna be the top notch amenities you have baseball fields soccer fields tennis courts basketball courts eight playgrounds for the kiddos and four outdoor pools and without question the highlight of the amenities in ashburn village is gonna be a sports pavilion the sports pavilion is gonna be a 32,000 square foot sports complex. You have an indoor pool, gym, indoor basketball court, racquetball court, and an outdoor pool. But without question, the absolute best part about Ashburn Village is the eight lakes and ponds all throughout the village. And these lakes are absolutely stunning. You can go catch and release fish in there. You can go canoeing, you can go paddle boarding. And the best and biggest lake is gonna be the pavilion lake. Now, a great part about this lake is there's a mile and a half trail right around it. So I used to personally live in Ashburn Village for about four years and every single day, weather permitting, I would walk around the Pavilion Lake. I absolutely loved it. It was so peaceful. You'll see wildlife like turtles and birds. It was one of my favorite parts about living in Ashburn Village. Now, one of the most underrated aspects of living in Ashburn Village is how close you are to a lot of things like shopping plazas, restaurants, and grocery stores. And in fact, right in the middle of Ashburn Village is Ashburn Village Center. That'll have your grocery store, gas station, and a ton of great restaurants. And then you're only a couple miles away from other grocery stores like Wegmans, Whole Foods, Trader Joe's, Harris Teeter, and more. Now let's talk about the homes of Ashburn Village. We'll start off with condos. So there's gonna be one condo community in Ashburn Village called Lakeshore. And these are gonna be apartment style condos. And for a two bedroom, two bath there, they're gonna be in that 375 dollars to $400,000 price range. So it's great for first time home buyers. But the best part about Lakeshore is it's right on the water. So you have stunning views of the Pavilion Lake. And then you have townhomes. There's a lot of different style of townhomes in Ashburn Village, but they're gonna start off in that low $500,000 price range. Again, a great price point for first time home buyers. And they go up to about $730,000. And then single families, they're gonna start off in that $750,000 price range. And they go up to about a million dollars, but the majority of them are gonna sell between that eight and $900,000 price range. So this actually makes Ashburn Village one of the most affordable neighborhoods in all of Ashburn. That's why I truly believe living in Ashburn Village is probably the best value overall. Now the biggest con with Ashburn Village is if you want a much newer home like built after 2015, then Ashburn Village may not be for you because the majority of the homes were built in the 90s. So it is a much older community compared to a lot of other neighborhoods in Ashburn. But if you want to get a lot for your money, have beautiful homes, beautiful lakes, resort style amenities, then definitely check out Ashburn Village. Now the next neighborhood on the list is gonna be One Loudon. So One Loudon is gonna be the downtown of Ashburn, Virginia. And it's gonna be a lifestyle mixed use community featuring shops, restaurants, corporate offices, entertainment, and surrounded by beautiful modern homes, which include luxury condos, luxury townhomes, and single family homes. But the highlight of living in One Loudon is gonna be downtown One Loudon. And this is where you're gonna go for all your entertainment needs in Ashburn, 
Whether it's meeting coworkers for happy hour, going with your significant other for date night, or checking out a movie at the Alamo Draft Cinema House. A couple of other cool things about One Loudon, during the summertime, they have a lot of concerts, which are definitely gonna be family friendly. And then also every summer is the Carnival. And the Carnival basically has every ride you can possibly think of. And if you wanna feel like you're a 10 year old kid again, then you definitely gotta check out the Carnival. So I personally live in One Loudon, and at least once a week, the wife and I will walk to downtown One Loudon, and we'll go to one of our favorite restaurants, which is Uncle Julio's, which I believe is one of the best Mexican restaurants in Northern Virginia, and we'll go there, have margaritas, sizzling fajitas, and then we get to walk home. Now let's talk about the amenities of One Loudon. So One Loudon has over 100 acres of parks and trails, with the highlight of that being Central Park. And during the summer, I personally walk through Central Park every single day. It's a very peaceful walk. A lot of trees around you. You see people walking their dogs, kids playing. It's a fantastic trail overall. Then you got the club at One Loudon. No, not the nightclub. <laughs> no, the club is going to be a 17,000 square foot complex that features indoor basketball court, gym, a dining hall. So you can actually have events there and an outdoor pool. Now let's talk about the homes in One Loudon. So One Loudon is definitely a much newer area and the majority of the homes were built between 2013 and 2023. Now let's start off with luxury condos. In luxury condos, they start off in about the $550,000 price range and they go up to about $700,000. And hands down, the most popular condo style in One Loudon is gonna be the two over two townhouse style condo. And that's gonna feature over 2,500 square feet of living space, a one car garage and a massive rooftop terrace. And then One Loudon has luxury townhomes and they're gonna start off in a low $800,000 price range and they go up to $2 million. Yes, you heard it right. I did not miss say that. A $2 million townhouse, which makes these the most expensive townhomes anywhere in Northern Virginia. But these $2 million townhomes are absolutely stunning. Over 4,500 square feet, have an elevator, 10 foot ceilings, gourmet kitchen, sub-zero appliances, and so much more. And then you have single family homes. And they're gonna start off in the low 900,000s and they go up to about $1.25 million. Now the biggest con we'll live in in One Loudon, especially with the single family home is the majority of the single family homes have a rear garage entrance. Basically what that does is it gives you zero backyard. So a lot of the lots are very small, not a lot of privacy for your outdoor space. So that's definitely one of the biggest cons. So if you want a nice big private lot, then homes in One Loudon may not be what you're looking for. So I absolutely love living in One Loudon, but don't take my word for it. Let's ask Baby Mila, who's a current resident of One Loudon. Baby Mila, how much do you love living in One Loudon? She said she absolutely loves it. Now, as much as I love making YouTube videos about living right here in Northern Virginia, what I love even more is helping folks just like you relocate to Northern Virginia. So if you're even thinking about moving to an area, Give me a call, shoot me a text, send me an email, whatever you gotta do to get a hold of me, just know I got your back when you're moving to Northern Virginia. Now the next neighborhood on the list is gonna be Belmont Country Club. So Belmont Country Club is gonna be a premier residential gated and golf course community featuring over 2,100 homes with the majority of those being townhomes and single families. So in my opinion, Belmont is probably the most beautiful neighborhood on this list and it's actually Ashburn's only gated community. And one of the biggest highlights of living in Belmont is gonna be the picturesque Arnold Palmer 18 hole golf course. And this is an absolutely great course. So if you love the golf, you're gonna love this part about living in Belmont. And then you have the 35,000 square foot golf clubhouse. In fact, I got married at the clubhouse back in 2021. and It was a great experience overall. So you know Belmont Country Club had to make this list. Now let's dive into the homes of Belmont Country Club. And we'll start off with townhomes, so the price range of townhomes, they're gonna start off in the low 700,000s and they're gonna go up to about $850,000. And there's a lot of different style of townhomes in Belmont Country Club, but hands down the most popular is gonna be the Rose style townhouse. And the reason why these townhomes are so popular is because of the way they're built with the layout. It really gives it that single family feel compared to traditional townhomes. And then we have single family homes. They're gonna start off in the low 900,000s and they go all the way up to $2.6 million. Now this $2.6 million house, you have a pool, golf course view, over 6,000 square feet, all the bells and whistles and so much more. Now, a lot of the homes actually do have a golf course view, but just know you will pay a premium to have that golf course view compared to not having it. 
Now, without question, the biggest con of living in Belmont Country Club is going to be the extremely high monthly dues. Now, let me explain. Now, first, you have your HOA dues, which is $420 a month. And yes, that is a lot. It's probably one of the most expensive HOAs out there. However, you do get a lot for it. First of all, you get full lawn service. How cool is that? You don't have to worry about cutting your grass or putting mulch out. So that's a huge benefit right there. Then it covers common ground maintenance. You got to keep Belmont Country Club as beautiful as possible. And then it covers your cable and internet. That's a huge bonus right there. And also that fee helps pay for the gated community with the security. And then you have a social membership, which you have to pay for. And that comes out to $125 a month. And basically what that gives you is access to the resort style amenities. Like the community rec center, the pools, basketball courts, tennis courts, fitness center. And you get access to the golf clubhouse. So you can go there for dinner, drinks, you can have events there. The only thing the membership does not include, it is golf. That would be a separate membership on its own. So yes, it will cost you a lot more per month to live in Belmont Country Club. But you get that security of a gated community, resort style amenities, beautiful homes, and so much more. Now the next neighborhood you must know about for living in Ashburn, Virginia is going to be Metro Walk at Moorfield Station. So Metro Walk is going to be the newest section of the Moorfield Station area. So Metro Walk will be the newest neighborhood on this list, which is being built by Toll Brothers and Lenore. And the majority of homes here were built after the year 2021. So basically brand new and they're still selling new construction homes there as well. Now let's talk about the style of homes at Metro Walk. First, you have the luxury townhouse. They can be four levels, up to 3,000 square feet. All the latest finishes and designs, plus the rooftop terrace. And they can go up to well over $1.2 million. And then you have luxury two over two style condos, very similar to the ones that they have in One Loudon. They can be two levels, up to 2,500 square feet with a rooftop terrace. And then you have the brand new penthouse style one level flats. And these condos are absolutely amazing featuring over 2,200 square feet, a private two-car garage, elevator, 10-foot ceilings, covered rear patio, and more. And then the Metro Walk Clubhouse just recently opened up, which has your gym and pool. And the main reason why Metro Walk made this list is because it is walking distance to the finally open, brand new Ashburn Station Metro Stop. So if you need to take the Metro for work, there's literally no better location in Ashburn than Metro Walk. And if you don't feel like actually walking to the Metro, maybe it's bad weather, it's winter time, there's actually a bus that'll take you right from Metro Walk directly to the Ashburn Metro Station. Now, another reason why Metro Walk made this list is because it has huge potential for growth and appreciation. So right next to the Metro Walk and Moorfield Station, is a big track of land and there's been rumblings that they're going to open a future town center there, which will have office buildings, restaurants, and more residential. Now, this potential town center is easily five to ten years away. But if you drop a potential town center right there and you're walking distance to the metro stop, Moorfield Station is going to be the new center of Ashburn. And it's going to be one of the most desirable places to live, not just in Ashburn, not just in Loudoun County, but Northern Virginia as a whole. Now, the biggest con of living at Metro Walk is you're going to pay a higher property tax rate. So the property tax rate for homes in Loudoun County is $0.88 cents per $100 of assessed value. And there are going to be some exceptions to that rule. And one of those is going to be special districts. And Metro Walk happens to fall in one of those special districts. Basically, it's the surrounding areas of the Ashburn Metro Station. And homes in those areas have to pay a higher property tax rate basically to help pay for the metro so if you live in metro walk your property tax rate can potentially be 20 cents higher per hundred dollars of assessed value so yes you do have to pay a higher property tax rate but if you love living in luxury style townhomes or condos and being close to the metros for you then there's no better place to live than metro walk and finally what everybody's been waiting for the crown jewel neighborhood of ashburn with willows Fern. And Willowsford is going to be the most premier luxury neighborhood, not just in Ashford, but in all of Loudoun County. So Willowsford is one of the largest planned communities in all of Northern Virginia, sitting on over 4,000 acres. In fact, Willowsford is so big, half of it is in Ashburn and the other half is in Aldi. Also, it's the D.C. area's only farm-to-table community. And in fact, Willowsford even has its own farmer's market. Do you like amenities and fun activities to do? Well, guess what? You're going to love this part. So Willowsford literally has the most amenities out of any neighborhood in Northern Virginia. It has hiking trails, campgrounds, 
lakes, multiple community centers, pools, gyms. You can take archery classes, cooking classes, and so much more. Basically, the only amenity that Willowsport does not have is a golf course. And the homes, probably some of the most beautiful homes in all of Northern Virginia. These homes are basically luxury personified. And if you're looking for that high-end home and neighborhood, this is exactly what you're looking for. In fact, quick story, about four or five months ago when I was getting footage for this video, I brought my wife along with me. It was actually her first time at Willisford. And when we're driving around, literally her jaw dropped and she's not easily impressed. And she said, David, pull over right now. We need to move the Willisford today, make it happen. So I'm under a lot of pressure to make that happen. So the price range of homes in Willisford, they're gonna start off in the low millions and they're gonna go up to about $2.6 million. So this makes Willisford the most expensive neighborhood in all of Ashburn. So I know I've been sharing you cons with all the neighborhoods in this video, and it's really hard to think of a con with Willisford. I really don't think there is any. I think it's the perfect neighborhood and I would move there tomorrow. But if I had to tell you a con, it's probably that you don't have like a shopping plaza or a grocery store right next to you. So you actually have to drive probably 10 minutes to get to the closest gas station, grocery store and restaurants, things like that. But I think all the pros of living in Willisford 100% outweigh that small con. And if you want to learn more about what it's like living right here in Ashburn, Virginia, check out this video right here. This is my most in-depth video about living in Ashburn, Virginia. And I'll see you on the next video.